Good day, Ruskin enjoyers. It's time for the 48 hour analysis. Yes, it's been two days since these Ruskins appeared in the Rust store, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at their progress based on their sales and get a good idea if these skins are still potentially good investments. So let's just jump straight in. As you can see here, here's my Twitter post for the first 24 hours uh, sales, 24 hours of sales, sorry. And as you can see here, the ghillie suit jacket did bare minimum 16,000 sales. Now, why am I immediately talking about this? Well, if you compare it to the certain jacket that we saw literally just two weeks before this, the Berserker Cloak, well, that had just around 20,000. So it is a bit short in comparison to that, but it's still quite a lot of sales. So just to quickly point out, Berserker Cloak basically had around 20,000 sales after just 24 hours, whereas this at the moment has just over 16,000 sales. But that's 24 hours. What's it looking like now after 48 hours? So if we just quickly hop over to here, we can now see that we have over 22,000 sales, bare minimum, all right? Now, if we were to compare this real quickly with the likes of the Berserker Cloak, we can remind ourselves that we have about 45,000 sales for the Berserker Cloak jacket, based on what SEMM can see. Just wanted to point it out, based on what SEMM can see, because there's a very likely chance that some people probably bought out a whole bunch of these on private accounts, which SMM can actually see, right? So just wanted to point that out to you. So anyway, the main question is, will this ghillie suit jacket potentially match up to the likes of the Berserker Cloak jacket? By default, I'm going to sit here and say it might potentially just be just short, just short of 40,000 sales by the, time, by the time we have the next Rust or rotation. So it's still going to be a lot, but I don't think we're going to match up to the Berserker Cloak jacket. Now, this is still a lot of sales like this is still fairly ridiculous this is still very clearly very in demand and the first thing that we're going to have a quick look at is have we seen any continuations appear in the workshop yet because if we look at the comments mr cubis did sit here and say yes they do want to make continuations there will be sequels but if we go take a look at their workshop right now i can sit here and say that they're not they have not yet submitted anything don't worry, it's fine. You know, maybe they're the type of people who would like to prefer to list theirs on the Monday rather than, of course, a Saturday. <laughs> it's a little bit too early, basically, but you have to keep an eye on the workshop, right? You have to keep an eye on the workshop. So anyway, we know that they did confirm that they do want to continue it. And I should also point out that this was also made by uh, uh, Mothcat as well. So congratulations to both of you. You've got a very in-demand skin that a lot of people greatly appreciate because a lot of people are looking at this and thinking, wow, this is a great camouflage jacket. But, but, will it hold? Are there any other potential problems that could potentially appear on the horizon that could cause, it, cause issues? Well, the main thing that I was worried about is are we going to see a whole lot more jackets being made now? Because we have had two jacket skins being accepted within two weeks. And you might sit there and say, well, what's all the hubbub? What's what's all the issue? Well, they've both sold for $3.49, and they've both, well, they are both clearly selling for very high amounts. If other skin creators are trying to think, hmm, what should I make next? They're probably looking at jackets and thinking, wow, they're getting quite a decent amount of acceptances at the moment and they're selling a lot people clearly like them i should also make a jacket i'm worried skin creators are going to end up making a whole bunch of jackets now seeing that they're all the rage and we potentially have a very good chance of seeing another jacket being accepted and then suddenly we're going to be flooded with jacket skins and that basically is what happened with the likes of poncho skins last year when we very randomly got the arctic camo poncho being accepted last year other skin creators jumped in and submitted their own ones, and then we kept getting more and more and more and more and more and more being accepted. And that led to an item that rarely ever got uh, skins being accepted, suddenly getting tons of them accepted, and then all of these skins were technically competing with each other. And if you look at the state of these, you can see the vast majority of them are not in the positive. And then, of course, it rolled into next year as well, which is now, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, not looking super good, is it? That's a worry that I have for the likes of jacket skins. But we can't really confirm anything until we see some actual submissions, because if you were to take a look at the workshop right now, I can confirm to you, we haven't really had that many submissions so far. We do have a hot dog, though. Do you like hot dogs? <laughs> and look, hey, military burlap stuff. That's interesting. We'll keep an eye on that, won't we? So anyway... As of now, I am a little bit cautious. And the best thing that we can compare to is the Berserker Cloak, because it quite literally came out two weeks ago. Now, this has had some funny business. 
So, of course, on Thursday, just two days ago, when this ghillie suit jacket appeared, people were like, oh, God, no, no, this is potentially going to lose value. I better sell. So lots of people did sell their Berserker cloaks. It was like sitting at $3.50 on the day. People then see, oh, wow, look, uh, there's another jacket skin that's been accepted. And suddenly it went down to about like $2.70. But what then just happened on that day as well was someone jumped in and did like a two dollar eighty buy order with like a hundred quantity, and that kind of that kind of pushed the price back up. And well, something else happened today. See, you might notice that buy order is no longer there, but what did happen was someone did a little bit of shopping. If we just scroll down and look at the sales history, so this is quite literally today, September second. You know, just a few sales here and there, and guess what? Mm, two hundred and fifty six. What? What? <laughs> what? So, someone's jumped in and bought out a massive chunk of these Berserker Cloak jackets today. And if you have the keen eye, you might notice there's quite a significant amount of uh, quantity that's disappeared. Because do you see any resistance here at the moment? I don't. This potentially could easily rebound and go back up in price. So, in the position that this is in now, things are actually looking a fair bit better. All because a whole big fat chunk of the stock just disappeared <laughs> so anyway this is actually not looking too bad at the moment it very likely will be retaining its value and when loads more people return to play the game all the better for it because it could easily go back up in price again so that seems to be comfortable but what about this well of course by default if we do see more skins being made for this proposed ghillie suit collection whether it's hoodie and pants or hide clothing or burlap doesn't matter there will still be an increase in demand for the likes of this jacket. So just keep an eye out and let's see if this does turn into a collection. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't get any more acceptances, and if we do keep seeing more jackets, be, uh, jacket skins being accepted, I do worry for the likes of this. All right. So there's a lot of there's a lot of what ifs. It's it's annoying. It's very annoying. But you have to be cautious, especially during these times. September and October are not going to be fun times for our Ruskins. And, technically speaking, CS2 is now a whole lot more widely available to people, and it very, it very much looks like the actual proper release is going to happen within three weeks now. Um, just a good two days ago, we had like potentially the last final uh, beta test update uh, and like a massive increase of people can now play it, uh, the uh, Counter-Strike 2 beta. So yeah, Ruskins are going to have a bit of an awkward time right about now. We shall see what happens in the near future, but this is why I'm constantly telling you, you have to be extra cautious from here on now. Pretty much mainly everything is going to be uh, just by orders. <laughs> but based on what we see happening here, the weird stuff that happened with the Berserker Cloak. Maybe we're going to have to be cautious in regards to how much we offer for the likes of this for the buy orders. So that's going to be a discussion for Wednesday. Let's now move on and talk about the likes of the Chameleon AK-47. Right, 16,000 sales after two days. I get the feeling this is going to match up perfectly with the likes of this Chameleon Thompson. About 30,000 sales. That was expected. That's totally fine. And we have had a discussion quite recently in regards to gun racks. So this collection is just starting up right now when next week we are expecting the uh, introduction of gun racks. Now, here's a question. Is that going to be DLC or is that just going to be something that you can make in game? We don't fully know yet. I get the feeling it might be DLC because it's like a cosmetic thing that doesn't really directly impact the game. And, they, you know, Face Punch could probably squeeze some money out of you because, you know, you just have to flex. You just have to flex, don't you? <laughs> so... I get the feeling that we're definitely going to see even more of these being made and accept it because Face Punch wants more skin, uh, gun collections to f have more people uh, flexing on with the likes of that gun rack. So I do expect even more skins to be appearing soon and as I said, being accepted. This is a very nice and flashy set and hey, if we can just go to the workshop right now Whilst we don't know, we don't have a new um, skin being submitted at this current time, we can just scroll down over to here and see the chameleon collection of what it was originally, and we kind of got a good idea that we're very likely going to be seeing an MP5 and an LR300 version two appearing at some point. So, in terms of is it looking reliable? It already was looking reliable. <laughs> it already is. It's obvious we're going to see a version two for these at some point. Personally, Melio. 
Give me a revolver, please. Please. Come on. We didn't get a proper revolver uh, being accepted to the rust store. The, the E-Class was goofy. <laughs> Come on. We need another revolver. They're like the best investments. I assure you, I'll buy hundreds. Just give it to me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so... Things are looking pretty good for this AK, but let's also take a look at all of the other AKs that came out this year, more specifically the one last week, because look what's happened. Oh no, Pirate AK, no! But this was expected. Now, um, in regards to that, we had a big discussion about that uh, on Thursday. Um, we knew that this was going to happen, and that's why we based a, a certain price on the buy orders in these, because we knew this was going to dip to a certain point, and it's going to reach a rock bottom price at some point towards the very end of October. And then after that, it's very likely going to rebound and go up in price ever so nicely. In regards to what we see here, I don't think is going to happen to the likes of the Chameleon AK. I actually get the feeling this AK right here is probably going to emulate the likes of what we see here with the Redemption AK-47. So if we were to take a look at the Redemption collection at the moment, some of them are struggling a little bit, but they're not like doomed. It's only down by 5% here for the MP5. M249 is its own problem, but you know, that's only down by 18%. And then all the other skins, well, they're in a the positive. So this collection is holding up and it's very likely going to do even better with the introduction of the gun racks. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, I get the feeling this is going to end up a perfectly fine collection that's going to basically be exactly like the Redemption Collection. More skins being accepted. The collection as a whole retains its value. People like it. People invest into it. And then, hey, seeing what Milio's done before with many other collections, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in the future we'll see Chameleon Deployables and uh, Chameleon Clothing and Armor. Yeah. But as of now, it's still a $3 skin. It is also an AK-47. I do still think there's a potential chance it could still go below its rust or price, but ever so slightly. You know, the um, Redemption AK-47, for example, did dip below its rust or price here and there. Right now, it's only ever so slightly above its rust or price. So that would mean if the Chameleon was going to, you know, behave the exact same way, we could probably do like a $2.50 buy order, potentially get these for about 50 cents cheaper. I'm just saying that in regards to buy orders. We'll talk more about that on the Wednesday, but... Things are looking pretty good for this. Things are looking pretty good for this. And I know some of you are going to probably ask then, okay, Hedge, if gun racks are potentially going to be a very positive influence for skin collections, which one should I invest into? Guys, there's so many skin collections out there with plenty of weapons. I made this joke that, look, if you've got a skin collection with at least five plus weapon skins, there you go, that's it. <laughs> Regardless, all skins, all skins, when post-Christmas hits, they're all going to go up in price anyway, so uh, I just wouldn't fuss about that too much, all right? Just keep an eye on all of these. So anyway, with that, things are still looking good for the likes of this AK-47. Let's now take a look at this Redemption Custom SMG. So two days in, we've just got shy of 8,000 sales, bare minimum. I'm going to sit here and say, at best, I think this is going to probably retain its value based on what we just saw with the Redemption collection there, the ones that, you know, the likes of the MP5, gun demand, not exactly the best for it. You know, it's the weapon itself that's the problem. Same thing applies with the custom SMG. It's not like the go-to weapon that you're going to instantly want to use and whatnot. Fair enough. As you can see, all the recent custom SMG skins, not exactly doing super great, but you do see the likes of the Blackout SMG holding up quite nicely, most likely based on the fact that it's simply a Blackout skin. People are heavily in, uh, invested into the likes of the Blackout collection. And because of that, the values of all the skins usually are in the positive because of that. People like the collection. So with the Redemption SMG, I believe I'm probably just going to stick with a buy order based on the idea of financial perspective. You know, I will always say this. If you happen to like the skin, buy it, use it, enjoy it, support the skin creators. You get the idea. But in terms of trying to make a very good profit out of it, it's because of the weapon itself. I am probably going to stick with doing a buy order. Now, how low potentially might I go? Well, it actually might be another $2.50 buy order situation. I could see this potentially dip for a bit. I could see it rebound quite nicely. I don't expect it to go up in price insanely in the future, but I could still see a potential profit to be made here and there. Remember, if the gun racks prove to be popular, Redemption Collection very likely might be one of the go-to options and then, you know, Custom SMG. Well, by default, I've got to buy it. I need the full set. <laughs> anyway, with the amount of sales that we have at the moment, it doesn't look like a ridiculous amount. 
Also, maybe we should have taken a look at the likes of uh, how many custom SMGs have more than 8,000 sales, so highest estimated total supply. As we can see, this isn't at the moment one of the uh, highest bought custom SMGs. Maybe based on the price, or maybe based on everybody's kind of penny pinching at the moment, perhaps this might not end up with a ridiculous amount of sales. Maybe this only ends up with like 12,000 sales, which would probably bring it up to about here. So that would be like 11th top highest selling custom smg skin which eh, doesn't really matter too much anyway so yeah hmm. i think that'll be okay at best will retain its value so as as of now we'll just probably stick with a buy order all good right let's move on so pug Vernus. is there any word from mr ideal if he's going to continue this so we're going to see some more pug skins so um he's he's feeling positive no one's actually directly asked him. Uh, hmm. So no one directly asked him. But I do know for a fact, if we go look at his uh, workshop, we previously did have a pug rock. So this was made after this, even though this wasn't accepted. He made this, and lo and behold, that was accepted. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more pug skins, all right? By default, he was going to make a collection. And probably by default, because he got this accepted, of course he's going to make more pug skins. Are we going to see pug doors? Are we going to see pug boxes? Are we going to see pug clothing? Are we going to see <laughs> pug weapons? I mean, there was the good boy set. I I don't know if that's going to clash with each other or whatnot, but yeah. The idea of, are there going to be more pug skins potentially being accepted? I wouldn't be surprised if there are. You could sit there and say, oh, but I don't like that. Well, you know... Clearly, people like this, so, you know, if there's sales, more's going to get made, more's potentially going to get accepted. Deal with it. <laughs> so, by default, furnaces. I'm not exactly the one who uh, loves them in regards to uh, investments, because during the year... Oh, no, I don't want subscribers who want the uh, furnaces. During the year, furnaces tend to do not very well. And as you can look right here, you might notice that problem. Yes, the only the Abyss Furnace is holding up very nicely. Capybara is retaining its value, but it's not exactly doing super great. So yes, during the likes of these times, pretty much all of the furnaces are expected to suffer. But I will sit here and say, we saw the exact same thing with all of these furnace skins last year as well. And pretty much the exact same thing is happening right now. When it was post-Christmas time, all of these furnaces at one point were in the positive. Like, the vast majority of them were in the positive at one point. So I will sit here and say... Whilst this looks very bleak at the moment, I could imagine all of these rebounding and going back up in price again. So that would also apply to the likes of the Pug Furnace. So I am going to I am going to sit here and say I do think this will be going below its rust store price, but I don't think it's going to crater. I don't think it's going to be like a landslide, and I do expect more Pug skins being made. So yeah, it's probably going to be like a buy order in the region of just ever so slightly above two dollars, but. After that, if we do see some more pug skins, of course, of course, there's going to be more demand for this. And at the end of the day, it's a really goofy looking furnace skin. How many people are going to see that for the first time and think, oh, I need that? <laughs> Quite a lot. You might not like it, but some people do appreciate these goofy skins. So we'll see what happens. But I've thrown out all the potential context out to you. Just keep it on the workshop. See if any new pug skins are being made. It's as simple as that. We don't need to rush into buying these things. These top four skins right here, they're all abnormal. So there is no rush. Okay. Fry's sleeping bag. This is also abnormal, by the way. And uh, if I just showed you just a second ago, we have a hot dog sleeping bag now in the workshop. It looks like everybody wants food sleeping bags. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, Face Punch likes them. But in terms of sales, at the moment, this is probably going to have less sales compared to the burrito bag. Also, how's that burrito bag holding up? Is the uh, is the sales looking to be okay? Is the quantity all right? Because please understand this, all right? Not everybody, not everybody who bought this last week has the ability to sell this right now. But this was a two dollar forty nine bag, and yeah, there is none of these being listed below three dollars eighty. It seems now. Did someone also buy out a chunk of the stock from this as well? Let's just go take a look. Uh, oh, this is a bit of a weird history, but um. September 2nd, did we see a random big fat purchase? No, nope. it's just got low quantity on the Steam market. All the better for this then. So it appears we have low quantity. We have what appears to be some sort of organization where people refuse to sell this for below than below, uh, less than $3.80. By default, 
this would have Bilder's increasing because of that. This actually might work out very well for it. And then when we look at the likes of these, this uh, Fry sleeping bag, which at the moment looks like it's going to have even less sales compared to this, which would mean less of them in circulation, it potentially might emulate exactly this. Uh, maybe, maybe. But we should look at this maybe by Thursday, by default. Look at it when it's Thursday. Maybe there's going to be a whole lot more quantity. Maybe the price is going to be a lot lower because of that. We shall see, all right? But you could wait until Thursday, look at this then, and see, hey, look, it's still retaining its value. Things are still all right. Maybe then the likes of this fry sleeping bag would look a whole lot more appealing. Because I do get the idea that maybe everyone's going to probably, like, get all the food sleeping bags, and then, like, you know, oh, I put, a I put my fries down over there, and I put, my I put my burrito over there on the island. I'm being stupid, sorry. <laughs> we need a burger. We need a pizza. Uh, we're gonna probably get the hot dog. That's cool. Someone did make uh someone did make Doritos not too long ago. That was like two months ago. I can't I can't find it. Uh maybe if I just go here in the workshop and see if I can find it real quickly. Someone definitely, definitely, definitely made Doritos. That was a wife who don't look at that, children. Don't look at it. No! Ah! <laughs> don't look at a workshop. Don't look at a workshop. <laughs> Alright. So yeah. Um Fry sleeping bag at the moment. Look, you're abnormal. The sales you have at the moment aren't like in a you know in abundance. So this might work out very well for it as an investment. So on Wednesday we'll look at it. We'll get a good idea of what we're going to do in regards to what we're going to offer. Sounds good. Let's move on. So the three remaining skins that we have here are not abnormal. All right, and by default. I'm not super invested in them. However, they also have very low sales. So again, there is there is the potential that if these have a ridiculously low amount being purchased, things could work out all right for it in the future. They they also could potentially be manipulated. <laughs> but anyway, let's look at the likes of the charcoal sketch MP5. So this is actually intended to be a collection. Yipor and Hyper Monster. Yep, 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 yep. They have recently also submitted the likes of the Charcoal Python. Charcoal Sketch Python. I wouldn't be surprised if this potentially does get more acceptances. It does look rather cool. I mean, it started off with an MP5. If you're going to look at the sales, I'm not surprised because it's the MP5, the weapon itself. But when you look at the style of this in-game and whatnot, it does stand out quite nicely compared to all of the other skins that we've had recently. I think it looks nice. I think people will appreciate it but they just don't appreciate the likes of an mp5 that's the problem i wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this but by default a weapon only collection doesn't really hold up quite all right these two are the exception they are the exception i i hey you know what uh you poor if you watch this i'd like to see some charcoal sketch deplorables i think that would look really nice as well show me what a sheet metal door looks like and whatnot give it a, give it a chance give it a chance but anyway, I think this might end up being a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order based on the fact that it's an MP5. Because if you just take a look at all of the MP5 skins that have come out recently, what do you see? Negative, 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 negative. Now, that's doing a fair bit better. Like, this is below a dollar. This is close to a dollar. This is close to a dollar. This is doing somewhat all right, but not exactly doing super great. But yeah, the vast majority of them are close to around a dollar. Therefore, the go-to buy order would be 70 cents to 90 cents. It's unfortunate but it is the weapon itself. Okay. Then we have the Panther Bow. Panther Collection has a few skins accepted so far, but it's all weapons, so things are a bit awkward. Why is this doing all right? Because it came out six years ago, right? <laughs> this being continued was very random, but no one's complaining, and whoever owned this probably isn't complaining. But anyway, in terms of bow skins, let's just quickly take a look at all the ones that came out so far this year, and yep, around a dollar fairly slightly above a dollar around a dollar around a dollar by default this is probably also going to be a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order it's unfortunate but you know we've got to play it extra safe in regards to trying to make a profit out of everything and well if you offer too much for the likes of something that could easily go down to about a dollar you're going to suffer and suffering is not fun but you know the sheer lack of sales so far potentially it could rebound to go up in price ever so nicely in the future maybe possibly and also it could be manipulated. <laughs> so it's a fair bit awkward, but it's probably going to be a 70 cent to 90 cent buy order. It doesn't look like it's going to retain the $2 price. So 
Anyway, let's now move on to Lux the Pitter Poncho. Uh, e well, okay, that's not really holding up very nicely, is it? <sighs> this is probably going to be a 50 cent buy order. Look at all the ponchos we've had this year. It's ridiculous. We already made this point earlier today, but yeah. Too many of them. Pretty much every single one of them is in a negative, except the Pirate Poncho, because everybody loves the Pirate Poncho. Um, Pirate Collection. Yeah, I'm... Maybe we will see some more Pitter skins. Let's just go take a look. Has anyone asked? No. He did say thank you. And that's nice. Has he submitted any new skin recently? Uh, this wasn't this week. This was last week. Maybe we'll see some more Pitter clothing skins being submitted over the course of the next two days. It could very likely happen. But... By default, just that. I'm not super, like, confident in that. I'm just saying. If you like it, by all means, buy it. Use it, enjoy it. Support the skin creator. But, but with the financial perspective, I'm not really wanting to buy, like, 50 of those. I'm sure you can understand. So, yeah. It is a fair bit awkward. All of it's awkward. Everything's awkward. I'm awkward. But, um, yeah, we have to be cautious. We have to approach this slowly. There is no rush for anything. But in good time everything will be a whole lot better. But if you just take a look at the previous week's Rust Tour, you might notice some skins are already, you know, in the negative. Oh, yep, negative, negative, negative. Are we surprised? No, we are not surprised. We're not surprised. And then you look at Most Wanted. How's this holding up at the moment? Oh, cool. Look, all of it's in the negative except this. Huh. <laughs> this is what? This is a perfect visual for what Rust Tours are going to be like now. This is the current state of Rust skin values at the moment. Everybody is just not super invested into Ruskins at the moment. And like I said, Counter-Strike 2 effectively is very widely available to a lot of people now. The, the requirements to get into the beta are very easy. You just have to basically have a competitive rank. That's it. And loads of people play competitive, so loads of people have access to CS2, Counter-Strike 2. So, yeah, if everybody's going to be playing the likes of that now, the player count... Go away, privacy. The player count very likely might take a bit of a hit over the course of these next two, next two months. But by default, we were already expecting that. But, you know, when Christmas comes, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be returning, playing the game. I wouldn't be surprised if we quack. It, quack. Crack. I'm not a duck. Sorry. Crack. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't be surprised if we crack 100,000 plus average players when we hit January time. January 2024. I'm... I'm expecting it. I am expecting it. We hit 95,000 average people in July. I expect even more for January time. So keep an eye out, all right? There's going to be loads of people playing. And by default, all those people are going to want these Ruskins. And with the increased in demand for all Ruskins, by default, we will see Ruskin prices go up. And it'll be a great time to sell all of our skins for very nice profits. And it looks like the LR... Uh, what? 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 What's this? Hold on a second. Has this been bought out? Is this... I mean, it, well, I mean, there wasn't really that much quantity anyway, but... Huh. So there's hardly any stock of the LR9 on the Steam market, and apparently the most cheapest one is only $10. But remember, by default, not everybody who bought this last week has the ability to sell it. But there's some weird things going on with this skin right here. Keep an eye out for that. Anyway, if we take a look at the complete the sets, Rust Store as well, what do we see? Yep, all of that is now in the negative. So just be aware that this is a routine pattern that happens every single year. But like I said, post Christmas, the end of December, you will see skin prices doing ever so nicely. And you know what? I just noticed this right here. No Mercy E-Class Revolver. So this seems to be retaining its value somewhat. This very likely might just end up becoming a $150 skin. It's special in its own way. Valuable in its own way. Rare. Based on certain circumstances. I don't. St I still do not know how many of these are in circulation. But I'd probably assume there's probably between 200 to 300. In the grand scheme of things, that's not a lot. But th that doesn't, you know, that amount... That amount right there doesn't really even make it the rarest skin, let alone the rarest revolver skin. But as of now, it does seem to be retaining its value. And hopefully next week we see a patch where it's fixed in game. Because when you have this and when you own it and take it in game and try to skin your revolver, it will look like the version 2 revolver, the one with the, right wrap, uh, the white wrap. Cool. I'm, 
I'm slurring today. I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I've said quack and all of this. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. This is what pixels do to you. <laughs> you've got to, you've got to um, only enjoy pixels just a certain amount. If you do it too much, uh, you're going to end up like me, all over the place, crazy. But anyway, I'm pretty sure we've said all that we needed to say. Things are looking pretty cool in regards to acceptances. But in terms of trying to uh, keep an eye on all of our funds and whatnot, a little bit awkward, just a little bit. But if you can keep yourself, you know, kind of organised, you should survive these next two months. And of course, when we hit November time, great time to start maybe selling some of your Christmas theme skins and whatnot. I hope you did a good job investing into those over the past few months because it's going to be uh, pretty crazy when that starts. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely time and best of luck to you and your investments. See ya.